Um, no, it means a heck of a lot to me. I love, I love uh, British filmmakers, and they have such a great talent pool. And what else? It's just great. I mean, you, you know, you really kind of, I think, made your bones with Chaplin, and then we continued that uh, privilege of being able to work with amazing British talent, both yep. in front of and behind the camera, with the Sherlock series. So it really feels at home to us. Well, I'm rather overwhelmed by it because I, um, I, I didn't ever expect to have a film career at all as I shall say later on. <laughs> and so I never knew Cubby Broccoli, although I know, of course, Barbara Broccoli and, and Michael Wilson very well. And I've had 17 years of doing Bond, which has been just wonderful. So I'm very, very proud that I should have something that is named after Cubby. She's just all soul and all grace and strength and beauty and she really, for me, she um, she's an iconic British actor. She's what you aspire. She's what you aspire to be. Well, that she's indefatigable and that if you try to help out, you know, during a hard day, because low budget films tend to overwork you, and you say, Judy, would you like a, uh, a break? You know, she kicks you in the balls. <laughs> and that's after two knee operations. No, I know. People like to say, when are you retiring? Or when are you going to slow down? That's all very rude in my family. We don't say any of that. I think if I stop, I'll, you know, it'll be like, a, a car, I shall run out of petrol and fall over. So I plan not to do that, if possible. Yeah, it does, it really does feel like that. I feel like I was just trying to kind of like fit my career around my exam timetable and stuff, which is really not ideal. And so I played a lot of supporting roles in the last two or three years, and I'm excited now to have the breadth and the space to take on some more demanding roles and, and kind of step up and um, put my neck out a bit.